yeah, I just love my palm tree. You know, it's not Mexico, but makes it feel like it. Anyway, we all know the story of the prodigal son. What do you think that story's about? The father, he has two boys. And the youngest says, I want my inheritance right now. I mean, this guy had party in mind like you wouldn't believe, and he did exactly that. And the father gave him the inheritance while the other brother worked the farm. I mean, think about it. He's having fun, cash, friends, comes to the end of it all, and wow, he's abandoned. To the point where he's eating pig's food because he had gotten a job at a farm with a man who raised sow. He's Jewish. One day he says, man, I can just be a servant in my father's house. Oh, here comes my grandson. Sounds like the buffaloes. So the son says, I'm going to go back and tell him, dad, I'm ready to be your servant. And here's the thing. Watch. The father saw him afar off. Go read it. And he says this. My son, who was dead, is alive again. (laughs) What a crazy thing to say when the guy's standing right there, his son. And that's because the father represents God. And that death represents that spiritual death that we've all had because of Adam's transgression. Adam sinned against God. God said, the day you eat the fruit, you're dead. And he was, he was separated from God and born again. There it is. You see, Adam in the garden was walking with God, talking with God. He was spiritually alive. But God said, the day you eat that fruit, you will surely die. And his spirit died. And that's where we get John chapter 3, verse 3, you must be born again. I mean, if you want to have a relationship with God, you have to be brought back to life. And there it is, the son, he's in the distance. The father sees him and he says, my son that was dead is alive again. The father says to the son, when the son says, dad, I can be your servant. He raises him up and he has a big feast. He kills the best lamb that he has. Wow great forgiveness, life. I read a track once about a man who came home to his family at three in the morning. (laughs) He came back to the Lord. The whole family got out of bed. They all got together and it was just a rejoicing moment. Unbelievable joy. But unfortunately, we live in the real world. And in that real world, remember the father? We had another son. (laughs) It's too bad. That son complained and murmured about his brother, his brother that was dead and has now been brought back to life. It's a beautiful story. You can be forgiven and you find it through Jesus who died for us on that cross. And you say what the thief on the cross says, Lord, I deserve to die here. What do you think me and you would deserve to go to heaven? (laughs) Give me a break. And the thief says, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. He knew Jesus could save him. Hey, get at it, man. Go talk to your Savior and get saved.